So I sold a couple of things to a viewer on eBay. Ay, ay, ay. You may remember a uh, amp, an aluminum car radio, stereo amp, and a sapphire video game card with a three big cooling units on it I had the three fans you may remember that in past videos i just found this in the highway on the way here look at it mac truck off a semi lost it in a 40 mile an hour zone on the highway down here and uh can you imagine that's a big chunk of stainless steel maybe 20 pounds could you imagine that coming off the truck when he was doing 70 75 down the interstate and you were following behind him in your car or a motorcycle be even worse that could i mean that would go right through a windshield that would, that would kill somebody if it hit him especially if you're on a motorcycle oh scary stuff you always gotta be on the lookout for stuff that can kill you literally driving these two wheelers but uh i sold these two items on ebay and uh buyer selected priority mail from the post office for $39 but uh, even a day quicker FedEx says they can get it there and uh, $17 FedEx compared to the post office so I'm saving $23 bringing it here I hope you don't mind So I figured for today's video, I would go back down to the industrial dumpster where I ended my last video when my battery died. There was a cast iron sink. And uh, I'm gonna go see, I've talked about that in recent videos about how big cast iron items will bust apart. So if I can get it out of that dumpster, I'll show you what I mean lots of things that a person normally wouldn't do if the, if the cargo wasn't an issue so I gotta break a lot of stuff down so let's go have a look at that hopefully these dark clouds will hold off we got a little little sunray action going on over here let's see if I can get a good shot of that Look at that. This is a totally different dumpster. Um, man, they did a lot of work, I guess. I, I thought this was gonna sit here until through the weekend. This is Friday now, so I thought for sure this would stay here till next week. There is a whole new load of stuff. Now this is the same dumpster though. Um, that's kind of strange. All that big piece of stuff was missing that I broke my foot through. But this is definitely the same dumpster. Because that bottom stair down there is broken. So, uh, that's kind of strange. They must have just came and picked this up. Maybe they did it at nighttime. Took it to wherever they dump it. Landfill or wherever they take it. And then, uh, they must have just came straight back here with the same dumpster. That's kind of odd. Usually they'll bring a dumpster and swap it out. Or at least that's what I thought. But uh, let's go see what there is to get now. Gotta be careful on these things. Obviously. Well, shoot. I don't know if I can find a 
insulation press. Cast iron sink was right here. This is definitely a different load of stuff, without a doubt. Our consolation prize is a piece of aluminum with no wires in it. Darn it. Oh, never mind. Spoke too quick. Look at it. That's a little better. Um, I don't know if they did a bunch of work. And filled that other dumpster up or not? The other dumpster is only like half full. So. Bummer, man. Let's go see what I can find somewhere else. Looks like they're keeping that way you think <laughs> i don't want to take this nice stainless steel unfortunately or fortunately unfortunately looks like they're holding that back though How you doing? Nice piece of brass. Broken uh, Fiskers tree lops. Brush lops, whatever. That's some nice some bad looking produce. Shoot. So apples and onions actually look really nice. But I'm never going to tell people to take stuff like that. <laughs> you never know for sure. I don't mind people making their own choice, but to take something like that out of there and give it to like a food bank or something, that kind of stuff's going to kill people. There's just no way around effect. But uh, I'll leave it sitting there like that. Some might want to make their own choice to gamble with the apples injected with battery acid or who knows what could be on there. I always think of Jim Gaffigan's skit little skit about people eating out of a bakery dumpster. Is that sprinkles on those donuts? Ajax? 
you know how he does it. guy again I think he's working this area pretty tight pretty regularly what's up man back at it I just want to look I'm not gonna take nothing oh hey you want that microwave you want the you want the cord off of it you don't do you don't do cords nah it's your clam I'm not gonna mess with it I just remember you didn't take the microwave last time but hey look at that Two microwaves. Yeah. You got you some wire cutters? No, not, not now. You don't got wire cutters? No. You want me to cut that for you? No, I do. That's an old microwave, that's in a mana. That's from like the 70s. Yeah. Is that your bucket? Nope, that ain't my bucket. Here you go. I can't take it someone else's claim. Huh? That's bad dumpster etiquette. You can have them. They're up to 70 cents a pound now, do you know that? No, I didn't. Them electric cars? You didn't know that? How about a good old drop cord? How about what? Drop cord. Uh, uh, insulated copper? Yeah, drop cord, extension cords and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, any kind, any kind of cop, it's got copper in it. Yeah. You gotta cut the plugs off. You take them down to Vaughn's. Oh, Vaughn's. Where's that at? Where do you take your cans to? TDR. TDR? I mean, in Rogers. You go way up to Rogers? Yeah. Oh, man, no, right down the hill, right down the hill. South uh, School. You go down the highway, you got Archibald Yell. Yeah. Goes the curves down the hill. 
and then uh, in between 6th Street and uh, in between Martin Luther King and 15th Street on your left, Vaughn's. Vaughn's. 70 cents a pound on the wires. Yeah, it, catch, it gets you some snips. You gotta take the plugs off. Okay. I, I make more money, I make far more money off the wires than I do cans. That, that's, I'm sure you see them all over the place. Yeah. Later, man. Last time I saw him, I asked if he knew about the electric course. He said, yeah. I don't think he knew what I was talking about. Now he does. Create myself a little competition, what do you think? Nah, it doesn't matter. Competition's irrelevant. I'm gonna get mine, regardless. So those are some nice looking bars. Um, of course this can be real dangerous. I would never give this to anyone or sell it to anyone without them having knowledge. It came out of a dumpster and there could be something wrong with it. It's just uh, some things you gotta consider dumpster diving. I have one at home that I use. It's got these little yellow deals. The swivel and cover up. So like it's good for pet hair and stuff. Not using them, you can close them. So, uh, of course, it could be dangerous, but I'm gonna hold off on scrapping those and have a look at them. If I uh, ever get into a house and get my shop going, I wouldn't mind these sitting in my shop somewhere using them, see how they are, you know concrete and tin building or something no animals or people in it you know Let's see how they go we're gonna get a better get a bungee cord out of there get some free tail swag here unfortunately it's starting to rain the rain clouds have caught up with me. Look at this little camouflage Nike hoodie. You don't see too many like that. It's kind of interesting.
get wet that leather coat action hey, that's not a bad one either it's a heavy duty one street and steel ride like hey that's a i think that's a heavy duty motorcycle jacket let's see if there's anything wrong with it it's looking pretty nice i think that would fit me www.streetandsteel.com get a good idea of the price of this guy extra large that's a little extra large that will fit me that's heavy that's heavy dude that's a precious got extra it doesn't have pads it doesn't have like uh, plastic in there steel in the elbows or shoulders but uh it's got a real heavy duty build to it so if you wiped out on the street that would prevent a lot of road rash for sure the blade jacket is coming in around that 300 dollars price point now you're also going to get ce level one armor at the shoulder as well as the elbow and you've got a foam pad at the back and that's of course something you could always upgrade later if you wanted that added impact protection Of course I could always sell it as well. So uh, they broke their ankle. I hate for this to get wet. Some nice clothing in here. I could take it to the retail store, but it's not anything super special. Cheap button downs and stuff. Uh, this coat might not be too bad. Miss London? Miss London? Miss. Hey, that's new. Look at that. Still got the tag. Plastic deal. I remember I just forgot to take it out. That's actually used. Huh? Um, keep it dry a little bit. I should do the trick. Rain's kind of coming like this, so it's bone dry unless it starts raining harder. Here's the deal. I was planning on going that way. I don't know if the GoPro can see it, but there's a, a sheet of water curtain of water falling out of the sky down that way and uh, this way we got blue skies kind of so I'm gonna have to look at I don't know if the GoPro I think the GoPro can see that look at it so we'll go this way So I'm trying to slice through this cloud, rain clouds. There's a little gap <laughs> I'm trying to get to. Free tail stores up here. I don't think it's gonna work out too well though. I don't think this whole area is gonna get covered here pretty quick. So uh, the umpire might be postponing this game pretty quick. Whoa, oh, oh, about beat it. Wow, <laughs> sheesh. I went into a slide there. Rain hard now. It's free tail star action.
got my little bat cave. Uh, so I took out a CD, it's fine, that's good. <laughs> Tip jar action for me. See, I probably got water on my screen. Tip jar action. Grip a tip. And a pinch of tip. I appreciate that. Thanks for them tips. So if you've never seen this free tail store of mine, I call it the curb. A free tail store and uh, put the link down in the description to the playlist you see a lot of videos at this place and there'll be directions in those videos if uh, you happen to be going up and down interstate 49 this is exit 69 but uh, watch some of the videos and at the end of those videos there'll be a clip with specific directions and location but uh, we've got a nice little handful of clothing here I kept it dry by getting my new leather coat wet, what do you think? <laughs> leather does good in the rain. I noticed though, if you need to keep it somewhere where it's not humid when it dries out. Nice dry, a dry storage place, or else it'll start to get mold on it. So uh, otherwise leather holds up in water really good. I don't think a lot of people a lot of people know that or not but uh just can't store it in a humid place you know what i mean you gotta totally dry it out so we got some nice little shorts here nice little pair of blue jeans with a rip in the knee but that just adds more style what do you think and then uh, a little t-shirt someone can wear fishing or dumpster diving trash it hot tamales Show enough, Perry's original hot tamales. I think that's a local place here. Maybe, I'm not sure, let's see. Where's that at? No, it's not. Mississippi Delta, Washington Avenue. Mississippi Delta, huh? Well, of course, you got the I guess you already see it, I don't even tell you. Nice little camo Nike hoodie. That's pretty slick, it's a small one. It's a size, uh, well look at the sunshine coming out, look at that. Woo, oh, hey, this is the exact location, right down the street a couple blocks. Where I saw that rainbow, look at this rainbow again. Check it out, double rainbow action. It's super faint, I doubt the GoPro can see it. Rainbow right there. Exact same locations because this is a big kind of an open spot over there. And uh, almost the exact same location. End of that rainbow. I found a brass and copper radiator right there. So we'll go on the way home. I think I got a break here. Let's get out of here while, it's stuck. while I got a break. Um, I'm gonna go through there and see if I can find something in the exact same spot. What do you think? <laughs> I think this was a size medium. I can't read that. I was just looking into that sun. Plus, I can barely see short vision now. So, put that up there like so. Let's uh, get our bungee cord back on there. And uh, let me try to keep this guy dry. Holy oh, thing. Before I put that on, drive down the road, I had better check the pockets for drug paraphernalia. I think that might have inserts to put padding on the elbows and stuff. Look at it closer. I want to get down the road while I got a chance. 
Make sure there's not a big bag of cocaine or something in here. Looks to be all right. Let's check the inside pocket. There's something in there. Something in there for sure. What is it? Huh. Oh. It's a lot better for the exterior to get wet than it is for the interior. Exterior will dry pretty good, particularly in, in the wind. That's definitely not an extra large. That might be, I guess. It's perfect, what do you think? <clears throat> oh, there it is. Now the GoPro can see it. Super bright, well not super bright, but a lot brighter than it just was. That's a full rainbow. And uh you know what? Well it's gotta be there's gotta be no cloud covering on the horizon, but I bet there's rainbows at this spot very often. On days when it rains. If you wanna see rainbows, this is uh in Johnson. For those of you local, I'm going to take you up here and show you where I'm at exactly. If you want to come out and catch a rainbow, if photography or videos, I bet you could catch one here very frequently on days when it's raining, when the sun sets. You can see exactly where I'm at there. Just down the street from the Easy Mart corner of Main Drive in Wilkerson. Oh, what a good. So, if you get it out Wilkerson, about a quarter mile, half mile, there'll be a big field on the left going this way and uh, that's just perfect I've been meaning to swing through here this place has just been rocking and rolling during COVID-19 it's a little smoke shop smoke uh, smoked meat restaurant Wright's barbecue here in Johnson every night at dinner they got a line hanging out into the street here they're doing carry out. They're just rocking and rolling, man. There's usually twice as many cars there. All right, I'm gonna leave the camera on to see if we can it's always nice when big SUVs come across the other line at you when you're on a scooter, huh? This is the general area where the rainbow, end of the rainbow appeared. Of course, now the end of the rainbow is over there, but... This is where the brass copper radiator was at. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to be a thief, you can steal thousand dollars worth of roofing gear right there can't believe they just let it sit out here they must have tended on doing it today they're preparing for a weekend job but that's all just big boxes of nails shingles whole new roof just leaving it set out here oh that's that's gotta be risky
There's a subway at the end of the rainbow. Wait a second. The rainbow moved again. Now it's over there. Now those power strips are super sketchy, <laughs> but I'm gonna call this one postponed. Although it's got a nice break in the clouds, but I think it's gonna keep raining for a while like this. And I'm wet. And it's dinner time, so uh, I sure hope you enjoyed this little session. And as always, thanks for watching. Check that out. Walmart to get some dinner. I used to do a lot of time lapses back here. That would have been a beauty. Shots in the sky today. <laughs>